Hey guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to round two of the Pokemon Draft World Cup. First round, we did beat Mono and USA. I think it was Frio uh, in the end, so we put ourselves in really good stead. Uh, could be four, actually, I can't remember, but put ourselves in really good stead for the uh, for the tournament. So basically, if we win this game, uh, we're pretty much all but guaranteed to go through to the next round. Uh, because I believe the way obviously other fixtures will work is that uh, it will be impossible for everyone to you know get to six points. So uh, it all comes down to whether we can finish top or second if we win this game and our third game versus our final opponent, Frank Trade. Anyway, let's focus on this game instead. As you can see, Frido's team on the other team or on the other side is Sylveon. Of course, you get Sylveon. Uh, Mega Scizor, Entei, Jellison, Rotomo, and Noivern. Love me a Noivern, I do. Um, my team, let me quickly get this up on Showdown, I do have it. Uh, I have got the Advent Natured Mega Beedrill, God bless his high speed stat because you don't have to run Jolly all the time. Uh, with U-Turn, Protect, Knock Off, Poison Jab, then we have got Physical, Tangrowth with Ocker Berry, Earthquake, Giga Drain, Leech Seed, Hidden Power, Fire. Uh, we have got Physically-ish Defensive with a bit of Speed Investment, Vaporeon. I can't remember what I've put that into Speed Creep, I want to say it's Mega Scizor if he doesn't have any Speed uh, Investment. Skull, Toxic, Wish, Baton Pass. Uh, Steelix, which is special defensive, Earthquake, Heavy Slam, Toxic, Stealth Rock, another kind of answer to Scizor if he doesn't have Superpower. Uh, then I have Modest, Special Attack and Mew, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Roost, Psyshock. Uh, and then we have the Assault Vest, Raikou, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Snarl and Hidden Power Ice. I literally didn't need any other coverage other than Thunderbolt and Hidden Power Ice. Uh, Volt Switch is obviously nice for switching around, but if you look at his team, he hasn't got to switch into uh, Electric types because he didn't bring his final Pokemon, which was Sand Slash. So, Snarl was kind of useful to stop him from going into Sylveon and just causing havoc if he was Specs. Same with Noivern. And to an extent, Rotom Mo and uh, the Jellicent. So, anyway, we're going to lead off with Raikou. As he doesn't have a ground type, he does lead off with his Noivern. Uh, I expect him just to U-turn pretty much. I am a Salt Vest, so I can easily take any hit he goes for. Uh, very risky play on his behalf. I could have easily gone for the Hidden Power Ice. If I had, we could have been looking at a potential... Uh, to hit KO on this uh, Rotom Mo, uh, but I do see this as a free opportunity to go into my Mega Beedrill and uh, get my Mega off. I know that I will be able to take any hit because Mega Beedrill special defense is alright. By the way, this is on fast recording because uh, it does get quite stally in some points this game. It's over 60 times long, so. Um, I do click the Thunderbox. Again, he hasn't got any resist, so. Uh, doing over half of the Silver, and he's going to go Wish. And uh, Frido, it really annoyed me that he kept doing Wish Protect. Just don't always do Wish Protect when you don't need to. It just really annoyed me. Um, but that, that's a different story. I do go for the Toxic predicting the switch um, because Rotomo, well, it's, I'm pretty sure it was locked into something. I wasn't really paying attention, but again, Frido makes a nice play in turn and goes the Toxic on my switch into my Vaporeon. Um, I'm going to Baton Pass out because I wasn't sure if he was going to stay in or not. He decides to recover. In hindsight, there was no reason for him not to switch because I can't touch him other than Toxic. Um, but I go into my Raikou, and uh, I click Thunderbolt now. He goes before me, which obviously reveals his Scarf, if I hadn't figured it out by this point. But he goes back into his uh, Sylveon. I do go for Snarl, because I'm thinking, right, well, you could switch into many things here, and I, I don't want you to hit me hard. Uh, so I go for Volt Switch, do some decent damage. He goes for the Hyper Voice. Uh, he crit does 29%. That's, that's quite funny. Um, but Steelix is in. He goes for the Protect again. Uh, I go for the Earthquake, because I was expecting a switch. Um, should have really just clicked Heavy Slam to put some pressure on him, I guess. Uh, but in comes the Rotom Mo. I go for the Earthquake. I don't know what my other attack was on this. I know I've revealed Toxic and Stealth Rocks and Earthquake. I know I just said the moves, actually. You know what? Let me quickly check. He does trick me the Scarf. No, I do have Heavy Slam. That's just me being stupid then. Um, he does trick me and, and what? He gets the Pain Spit on this turn, which isn't too bad. I wasn't really predicting that, but Raikou is my best switch into this thing. As you can see there, look. I go for the Hidden Power Ice, it does nearly half, so uh, while he was Scarfed and not able to recover any health, you know, Hidden Power Ice uh, would have been a 2 KO after Stealth Rocks, so uh, kind of a shame I didn't go for a turn 1, but never mind. Uh, in comes the Sylveon, he's very weak, he, I mean, I was pretty confident he was going to go for uh, Protect there because he was at such low health, uh, any kind of critical hit I got would have killed him. Uh, he does, uh, this is where the mind games begin, I know obviously he has a Steel type in his Scizor, uh, I honestly expected out of one of these many times that we have this exchange, he would eventually stay with Sylveon, but he doesn't. And I'm just trying not to yawn. Oh, sorry guys, I only woke up about half an hour ago. Um, he does click U-turn, and uh, well, 
Vaporeon is, I think, pretty much my dedicated thing for Scizor, because obviously I reveal the Steel type, reveal, re resist the Steel type. Um, but it obviously doesn't work out too well because it goes to the U turn. Uh, I just die to a Leaf Storm. Not much I could really do about that. I was sacking that thing off at this point. It's done its job. It's got rocks up. It's poisoned something? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know, but. Um, what, what's a what's a resist to U-turn? That does something like 24% to a Mega Caesar. That's that's stupid. Um, but I mean, again, he goes into a Sylveon. I go for the Flamethrower. Like I said, I am Flamethrower Ice Beam Psy Shock. Um, Psy Shock doesn't seem to do too much, especially after Life Orb Modus. So I'm very much thinking this thing's physically defensive. Again, if I had Psychic, I think that would have probably made this exchange a bit easier. Uh, I do obviously predict the switch into. Sylveon, uh, but I'm not going to mess around. Every time he's in with Sylveon, I'm going to click Poison Jab because once that thing goes, he doesn't... Well, it'll just make my life a lot easier. Um, he does bring this thing in. I've already seen he's got leftovers, so I know that a, a knockoff will kill him. He didn't really have a safe switch into the knockoff, so he couldn't really do it. Uh, the way he brings this thing in, he either has Extreme Speed or is Scarfed. He gets to the Sacred Fire. Um, reveals The damage reveals he is Scarfed, I believe. And, well, he definitely isn't Banded or Life Orb. Um, but Skull is gonna do a massive amount of damage. I feel like again, this is terrible. Uh, so, in comes Tangrowth, uh, Ockerberry, I absolutely chew that up. I mean, the Ockerberry, I didn't even need it in the end, but you know, keeping myself at as much health as possible is great. Uh, in comes the Scizor, takes Stealth Rock damage, that's absolutely fine by me. He does go for the U-turn, does a lot of damage, I'll give him that. I do, do go for the Hidden Power Fire, because, you know, there was an opportunity to kill the Mega Scizor there, so I wasn't... I wasn't going to let that by, um, but Sylveon does kill my Tangrove, so it's looking rather scary now, both my walls are gone, um, but I do have my offensive core left, so I can still obviously deal the damage that I need to, to do. So uh, I click Poison Jab again, he sacks off Rotomo, so I've killed quite a few things with Mega Beedrill so far. Um, in comes the Noivern, this thing is so obviously Scarfed, uh, he had Scarfed Entei and Scarfed Noivern, so we go from Mono not having a Scarfer, I don't think, to Frida having two. Uh, I go into Raikou to obviously let him hit me with the Draco, uh, get me down to minus two. I can then switch into Mew and I get a free Roost on the next turn. So after that exchange, I do end up being pretty much at max health. Um, so we're back to square one again. Sylveon is in versus Mew, and this is kind of where the store begins. It's really frustrating because. Hype, two Hyper Voices and one Life Wall Recoil are enough to knock me out uh, and and I just can't win this exchange unless I get a crit. Um, so he is going to start Wish Protecting, I, he's going to click Protect there, I should have known that really. Uh, I obviously didn't want to really run the risk because if he didn't protect, that's a dead Sylveon but I should have known that he was going to keep this thing alive because it's, it's probably his best win condition here. Um, so, uh, I, I go for Roost, uh, he goes for Hyper Voice, and he gets a crit, of course. I don't think in this whole exchange I get one critical hit. Um, but, you know what, I'm actually going to have more Roost than he has Hyper Voices, because he's obviously clicked Hyper Voice uh, earlier on in the battle as well. So he will run out of Hyper Voices before I run out of Roosts, um, which means I can then just hit this thing for free, because I think Hyper Voices is only attacking mood. If he has Toxic, he obviously doesn't want to go for it, because I have Synchronize. Uh... But he does decide to actually switch in the end, which is nice. He goes into Noivern. Uh, I'm going to click Roost, and if he wants to U-turn, it's absolutely fine. Uh, but I'm just going to sack off Raikou, because at this point, it's not going to do too much. Um, because it will die to Bullet Punch, Noivern outspeeds, and uh, it doesn't do much to Sylveon. So, uh, in comes the Scizor. He does go for Bullet Punch. I go for Psy Shock, because it will kill the Noivern. If he wants to come in after Rocks, well, it probably even about Rocks, but... Uh, and Psy Shock will also do a good amount to a Sylveon, but... He does go for the wish here. I have to click side shot because if he tries to wish pass into the Noivern, I mean there was no point in me even clicking Roost, but uh, I believe it's this turn I decided to... No, it's not this turn. There is at one point where I decided to say, fuck it. Yep, here it is. I click Ice Beam, going for the freeze. Also preserving my uh, side shot PP because if he wants to keep wish stalling and uh, hyper voicing, if I have some side shocks left, that'd be really useful. Uh, I do go for Ice Beam and I get the freeze. And I'm like, yes, I get the freeze. This is mine, any fourth now. So, uh, just back to square one again. Uh, he's hyper voicing and wishing up. Uh, he does make the switch though into Noivern, which was a bad play because Noivern was his win condition. Easily his win condition. All he has to do is weaken my Mew, bring this thing in, and uh, kill him with some hurricanes. But he misses the hurricane anyway. Shout out to Shroom. Um, and I kill him with Psy Shock. And now all he has left is Sylveon. And uh, that's cost him the game, pretty much. Trying to be offensive, trying to be aggressive. 
play it safe. Um, but, you know, uh, we can now bring in Mega Vidro once Mew goes down. I could have played for Differential and just roostalled him or switched into Beedrill. Because um, I know High Poison wouldn't kill me even with a crit. And Poison Jab does kill the Sylveon. So, we do beat Wales. A very close 1 0. Good game, Fudo, indeed. Um, less protected next time, though. I'm, I was feeling a bit triggered after that game. But um, it was a good game. Entei was spooky. Definitely uh, looking at my team. The whole of my team is just weak to it. Um, even Vaporeon can't take hits, as you can see. Uh, but that's a good game. Mega Beedrill, I think, is 7 0. Maybe at this point. Something stupid like that, eight or seven, um, which is really cool because I'm having a lot of fun using Mega Beedrill. But as I did say earlier, we do actually now proceed through to the next round uh, of the PDWC into the knockout stages. Don't know who our opponent will be yet. Well, I do, but you don't. Um, but we still have got one more game to play against Frank Trode. Um, will be a great game. Uh, Frank's always, you know, a fun guy to play against. He's also a really good battler. So. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that game, but guys, uh, that should be enough to see us through to the next round. So hopefully, um, we'll be able to kick off well in the quarterfinals against whoever we get drawn against. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for all this video. Make sure you come back again, like I said, tomorrow, uh, Saturday, to come watch my game versus Frank. Uh, again, links to everyone's channels are in the description, including Frido, and of course, the Rykwin, the guy who was hosting this whole tournament. Um, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.